Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I'm so excited about my topic today. This is something that I've been talking about for a long time and I talk to a lot of people about this. And it's something that's pretty close to my heart because um, the topic is this, is your business running without you? So how many of you, I would love to know if you are a, an entrepreneur or business owner that has a business where you are doing everything like everything so I'll tell you my story I'll never forget when I opened my tutoring business way back in oh, 1998 I started literally out of my living room so here's what happened so I'm out of my living room I'm doing everything I'm trying to do marketing I'm trying to get people in the door I'm trying to do the tutoring I'm doing everything there was no one helping me and I'll never forget starting my own like little mini tutoring center. It was still just me. It was just an office. And I'll never forget, like just picture this. So I have this like kidney shaped table and I have three kids sitting around the table and I was on the inside part of it. You know, those little kidney shaped type tables, okay? And then I had a computer behind me. I had my my personal phone in one ear and I had my business phone in the other ear and I am like I had parents coming in saying oh I want to pay my bill and so then I'd have to stop you know all the kids are I'm trying to tutor them at the same time I'm trying to get their bills to them and then I'd have a phone call wanting to know about tutoring and then I had people coming in and then at the end of the day like I'm trying to help tutor these kids at the same exact time and then they'd all go home at the end of the day I'm like oh my gosh then they have a huge mess and I have to clean up the a mess and then I wouldn't get home until like midnight or one o'clock in the morning and then my tutoring center got bigger okay I had like employees and stuff but I was still working a lot I was still doing everything I was still tutoring and managing employees and on top of all of that I had another tutoring center 250 miles away so I was driving back and forth and I was trying to do everything and it was killing me and literally um, I, I had to figure something out and I'll never forget just lying in bed at two o'clock in the morning and just going, okay, somebody tell me what I'm supposed to do because I can't do this anymore. It was really, really hard. So, um, whatever happened, the universe, whatever brought somebody to me that, um, I had to hire to take over my business, to help run my business. And I'm telling you, I'll never forget talking to her and she said, well, I need to get this much money. I need to get paid this much money to do this. And I said, okay, I have no clue how I'm going to pay you, um, but I know I need you. And so I just said, fine, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're just going to jump in and do it, right? And so when I did that, my entire life changed. Like literally everything changed. Things started happening. My business started growing. Um, like the whole, my, it's like this whole world opened up because I stopped doing all the stuff and I started working on my business instead of in it. And if any of you have ever read The E-Myth um, by Michael Gerber, if you are in business or you know anybody in business, that's like the business Bible. So um, the whole thing around the e-myth is this. It's about getting your system set up. So they talk a lot about Ray Kroc, who started what? McDonald's, right? You guys, if you don't know the story of McDonald's and Ray Kroc and how he started this business and why Ms. McDonald's is so successful, it is all about the business running on systems and running without him. You would never see Ray Kroc out there flipping burgers, right? He is working, he worked on his business. So anyway, the whole thing is this. This what is what kills me, okay? So here I am, and, and if you see things in the background, I am at a hair salon. It's like hair and nail salon right now. Um, I know it's late. Um, my sister and I are getting our nails done by a really awesome person named Jennifer, and she does nails. Well, here's the thing about Jennifer. I love her so much. She's amazing. But the problem is, here's what happened to her. So I'm just gonna tell you a real story. Here's what happened to her. So last year, up here in the Santa Rosa area, the there was huge fires, right? And tons and tons of homes, and people were displaced, and businesses got burned down. So here's what happened. Jennifer does nails. She made my nails really pretty. See how pretty they are? Okay, so <laughs> she had her nail salon, and what happened? Her nail salon, burned down like everything burned down she lost 
everything. She lost every single thing that she'd worked for. She rented a space in this nail salon, all of her nail polish, all of her equipment, every single thing gone, totally gone. Plus, all of her clients were gone. A lot of her clients lost their homes. She lost everything. She lost her entire business, all of her supplies, and she lost a lot of her clients because they lost their houses and they moved away. So what happened? Her business was not running without her. Her business was her. So here's the problem, right? She had to start all over again. So what happened? She had to buy all new stuff. She, she, she had to buy brand new things. It was very expensive. She had to go out and try to find new clients. She's still trying to find new clients here. It's over a year later. And here we are. She's got a new place. She had to buy all new stuff. And um, she had to start all over again. Because why? Because her business was not running without her. And that is the problem with people that who are, who are entrepreneurs that have a business that's just them. So I know that some of you might be coaches or you might be nail you might do nails you might do hair and your business is you so here's the thing i have so many ideas and i could literally go on for like a two-day seminar about this <laughs> but here's the thing so think about this if you are in a business like that or you know somebody in the business like that let me just give you one little tip one little idea and um if you want to talk to me i would love 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 to talk to you um and by the way um, just so you know, I would love to know what your business is. If you are a person that you are your business, please post, promote yourself, tell me all about yourself in the comments below, right? So here's what I talked to about the lady that does my beautiful nails, Jennifer. Um, and if you want, if you're in the Santa Rosa area and you need a cool nail person, I would love to promote her um, to you. I would love to refer her to you. So here's the thing. Here's what I tell her. I say, you know what? Let me tell you a quick story. There was a woman who used to make wreaths. There's this whole thing. She made wreaths for people's doors, like for year round, different cool things. She was very artistic and she made these gorgeous wreaths and she made a lot of money because a lot of people said, I want to hire you to do, to create these wreaths for me. And so she spent all this time. She loved, loved, loved making these wreaths for people's doors. Right. And then all of a sudden one day she just got tired of it. She's like, I am so tired. I just need a break. I have all these orders. I can't do it myself. And so here's what happened. She was making like a million dollars or whatever, making these wreaths. But then all of a sudden she changed her whole entire attitude. She said, you know what? I'm going to teach other people how to make these wreaths. I'm going to teach other people to do what I'm doing. And guess what happened? Her business went through the roof because why? She created like a, um, a course or something online where she taught people how to make the wreaths themselves so she didn't have to make it and people would pay her to teach them how to do that. And what happened? Her business went crazy. She made way more money, like billions of dollars. And that's where her money was. So I'm talking to my friend, Jennifer, who does nails. I'm like, why don't you teach other people to do what you're doing? Teach other people to create their own nail business. They will pay you to do that, pay you to coach them, pay you to consult with them or whatever. And that's another way to make money. So I'm going to end this because this went way longer than I expected. But here's the thing. Is your business running without you? If it isn't, Start thinking way outside the box and figure out how you can teach other people to do what you do. The information age is gigantic right now, right? Everybody, everybody goes on YouTube and they go on Google and they type in how to. It's like the biggest search term ever is how to whatever, okay? And so if you are that person that is the expert in teaching people how to do something, oh my gosh, people will pay you a lot of money to learn how to do that. Lastly, just to on this same exact topic, I owned a tutoring center. I know everything there is to know about starting and growing a tutoring business, a private school, an after school program, a summer camp, right? So I created an online course called How to Successfully Start and Grow Your Tutoring Business. Guess what happened? Okay, I don't have a tutoring business anymore. I sold it. And now I teach other people how to do that. And you know what happened is people started buying my course, so I made money that way. 
Then what happened? People bought the course and they went, you know what? I really need a coach. I needed somebody to help me learn how to do this myself. So now I have coaching clients where I teach them how to open their own tutoring business. So you can do that exact same thing. I would love to help you do that. And I'm going to get out of here. So thank you guys all for watching me today. I hope you got some good information. Please promote your business below. If you are running your business by yourself, please private message me. And let's talk about some ideas on how you can make other money teaching people what you do. All right. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. Thank you again. And I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.